Hello friends, welcome to MathCom. If you like this video, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. Last time in last video, we have seen what is mean by computer language. And we have also see the classification of generations of programming language. So in this topic also, we are going to discuss generations of programming language in detail. So we have seen this image also in last video. So these languages are classified into two main categories, low level and high level. And then low level converted into first generation and second generation, then high level into third, fourth and fifth. Now let's get into the topic and we will see in this in detail each generation. The first generation is a machine language as we have discussed in a previous video that uh, machine language is a uh, kind of computer's mother tongue. The first generation programming language is also called as low level programming language because they were used to perform the computer system as very low level of abstraction that is at the machine level. The machine language also referred to as a native language as I said that a mother tongue of a computer. So it is a first generation programming language. The programmer only deals with the binary number. So if you wanted to understand this machine language, you have to understand how to convert into a binary number. Few advantages we will see here. They are translation free, can be directly executed by the computers because this language is directly understand by computer. So here we don't need any kind of language processor. Programmer return. Programs written in these languages are executed very speedily and efficiently by CPU of the computer system because they don't need language processors. So we have seen source code and object code also. So this language, this first generation is an object code that we have seen because we uh, the other generations are source code. The program created in that, that is a source code. So that source code needs to be converted into object code but because this is a first generation it is actually object code the programs written in this language utilize the memory in efficient manner because it is possible to keep track of each bit of data then disadvantages as uh, if you don't know the binary code or binary conversion then it is hard to understand this language so that's why the first disadvantage difficult to learn binary codes. The second one difficult to understand both programs and where the error is occurred because it is in the format of zeros and one. So all the characters are in zeros and one. So first you have to get to know what the actual binary number representing the inst which instruction and that's why it is difficult to understand. Then we are having assembly language. So that is a second generation language. Second generation programming language is belongs to the also belongs to the category of low level language. Here it is uh, not understand by computer directly, but through the assembler, it can convert into a machine language that we have seen. The second generation language comprises semi language that use of concept of mnemonic codes so mnemonic codes like uh, suppose I am taking the word uh, addition. So addition, we can also represent addition by saying add. If I say give me addition of this two number or add this two number. Add and addition are used for same meaning. So these short codes are used in this language. In the assembly language, symbolic names are used to represent opcode and operand part of the instructions. Everything in a symbols few advantages as we have seen machine language there also you should have the deep knowledge of the language here also in a semi language you should have a deep knowledge it is easy to develop understand and modify the program develop in this language are compared to the first generation but still it is difficult programs written in this language are less prone to errors and therefore can be maintained with a great case so compared to the first generation little bit less errors few disadvantages of them first one assembler is required because the language understand by computer is the first generation machine language 
so this second generation language is not understand by computer directly so we need language processor and that's why we need assembler because it we convert a assembly language into a machine language this language is a architecture and machine dependent with the different instruction set of different machine both first and second generations are machine dependent language means once you created any code on one machine it is hard to use that same code for another machine so that's why it is architectural or machine dependent now we are going to move for the high level languages so first one we are having that is a third generation programming language third generation programming languages were designed to overcome the various limitations of the first and second generation so as uh, deep knowledge is required for first and second here also knowledge is required but not that much deep compared to the first and second the language of third and later generation are considered as a high level language because they enable the programmer to concentrate only on the logic of the programs without considering the internal architecture of the computer system in first and second you have to understand its cores also and how it they are going to work and here we are going to focus only on lo logic and that's why they are not machine dependent they are machine independent that means if i created any code by using high level language on one device one computer same code i can use on the second or a new computer with uh, some changes or sometimes we don't even need to do any changes as it is same program we can run program written for one computer can be executed on another computer with the minor changes or no changes at all now advantages easy to develop learn understand the program then as the program written in these languages are less prone to errors they are easy to maintain we can easily find out the errors because we are using language processors that converts the high level language into low level language and into low level also a machine level language so we can easily able to find the errors and mostly we are having errors are syntax based or logic based so that we can find out easily the program written in these languages can be developed in very less time as compared to the first and second generation so if you don't have the knowledge of first and second then you cannot do programming in that but here with the less knowledge also you can do the coding in third generation programming language or you can say high level program some disadvantages that language processor is compulsory without them we cannot proceed different compilers are needed for different machine it is not that same compiler or same thing i can use for the another one according to the requirement we should have different compilers and interpreters then here are some examples photon log cobol c++ c in that uh, now uh, if you wanted to understand the programming language you should start with c that the easiest one and then c++ java all other languages but the basic one you have to go through first why i'm saying basic one because the logic is everywhere same when suppose i wanted to do the coding in c and c++ only the syntax is little bit different but the logic behind the idea is always same like suppose i wanted to print any information uh, in c then i will use printf but if i wanted to use into c++ instead of printf because it is in a c we can use c out in c++ so only this is the difference in that but the logic is always same the sentence that we wanted to write is also same only few changes that we may need to make now we are going to move for the fourth generation language as it is a very high level language the languages of this generation were considered as a very high level programming language required a lot of time and effort that affected the productivity of the programmer because it is a command based you need to understand commands the fourth generation programming language were designed and developed to reduce time cost and effort needed to develop different types of software applications these programming languages allow the efficient efficient use of data by implementing the various data types here this language mostly works on databases so where we wanted to save 
too much data and if you wanted to get that data together then this language will be the easiest one because it gives us data in a tabular format they require less time cost and effort to develop different types of software applications the program developed in this language are highly portable as compared to the programs developed in the language of the other generations disadvantages memory consumption is high because it is a database data has to store and it consumes memory so memory consumption is high then has poor control over hardware because memory consumption required the hardware and it is a less flexible as compared to the other language that we can use same code but here because it is a data that's why it is less flexible next we are having fifth generation programming language that is a artificial intelligence language it is also very close to human language programming language of this generation mainly focus on constraint programming major field in which the fifth generation programming language are employed are artificial intelligence artificial neural networks means most of the things are present in front of your eyes and you have to just drag and drop remaining back end coding are already present there only logic part you have to put this languages can be used to query the database in fast and efficient manner in this generation of language the user can communicate with the computer system in a simple and easy manner some disadvantages that it is complex and long because most of the code you don't have to enter so it is predefined so that's why it is complex and long code more resources are required they are expensive to to store the data so this is the last point that we have and these are the generations of computer languages